Oh goody, it's another food special! My absolute favourite thing that I in no way fear. Um, yeah, there's probably going to be several of these in a short space of time, for the simple reason that I've done that thing again where I looked in the cupboard, realised there was a lot of food sent in, and most of it's going out of date soon. And for that reason, pretty much, we're going to start with a Japanese seafood special! What could possibly go wrong? Quite a lot, he said, looking at all the packets next to him. Well, we're going to start with something that will definitely get your taste buds a-tingling. Dried fish floss! Yep, I'm not entirely sure how you make floss from a fish, and I'm not entirely sure I want to, and I'm not entirely sure that I want to see it looks like that. But it is ready to eat! Says Chef Advance. <laughs> it looks like some mutant clone that Chef Excellence has attempted to make, and uh, took him out of the cloning facility before he would fully boiled. A sort of sickle thumbed legless mutant with weird eyes. Anyway, it's best before a date slightly after this date, so I shouldn't die, hopefully. Tear here, reseal after use, ready to eat. I'm not sure when this thing's ever ready to eat. Good god, there's 90 grams of it, a fair bit. Well, the good news is this was actually a product of the UK, unbelievably. Yes, they've made it here, but I'm told it's popular in Japan, so we're going to lump it in with the other stuff, which was actually sent from Japan and I've had to have translated. So, Dried fish floss, then. I'm guessing that it's a uh, fish that's been made into floss and dried. I don't know how you're feeling about it. Right, what lives inside? Oh god, it's a resealable package, so you don't have to eat all your fish floss at once. Oh, it comes with some silica gel or something, that's nice. Probably not silica gel for foodstuffs. Or is it? I can't remember. And oh my goodness. Yep, it's fishy, it's flossy, it's fish floss. Um, yeah, that's kind of uh, interesting. It looks like something you found at the bottom of your dog's bed or something. It's sort of hard lumps and yeah, this floss stuff. So, what does it taste of? And I wonder what fish is in it. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is going to sound ridiculous, but the taste of fish just hit me and I wasn't expecting it. What the hell was I expecting? It's called fish floss. Mm. Mm. In your mouth, it sort of turns into chewy fish. Very generic fish taste. Hmm. Actually, once you expect it, I quite like it. I'm gonna have some more. Hmm. Some people get really angry at me when I like things. Hey, I like some food. What do you expect? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sold on fish floss. Yep. I'm probably actually gonna eat the rest of that. Good work, Chef Advance. I've just noticed on the back of the packet it says this product contains soya, licorice, and wheat. Licorice, weird. Also, licorice spelt in the American way, which is an odd for a product of the UK. Mmm, what's going on there? Right, thanks guys. That's fishy and flossy, and not that unpleasant when you get your head round it. What's next? Mmm, something absolutely beautiful that in no way could put off anybody, even people who don't like fish. For instance, this, which according to the translation, is jellyfish in a paste of sea urchin gonads. Yep, not entirely sure who invented this one, or what the hell the sea urchins did to upset them, but this is going to be unpleasant. And I've forgotten the scissors, so I don't know how I'm going to get into it. <laughs> Attack it with the fork, maybe? Oh no, hang on. Pen knife to the rescue. Dun, 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 dun. We have the technology to cut thin pieces of plastic. Slightly dreading this, mainly because apparently it goes off really easily, so whilst it's within date, it was sent over from Japan and not refrigerated at the time. That means I'm probably not going to eat a lot of this in case it does genuinely make me ill. Which is a shame, because it does look so magically delicious. What was this again? Uh, jellyfish in a puree... or no, paste, sorry, of sea urchin gonads. Brilliant! Yeah, um, it's not necessarily something I would order from a menu, but you know, perhaps I'm a little bit fushy in the old uh, fish restaurant. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one. Right, it gets a lump of jellyfish. Make sure it's got a good bit of gonad paste on it. Who would want jellyfish without gonad paste? And here goes. Ooh. Oh god, that's sharp. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, maybe it's gone rotten, but it tastes very citricky and acidy. That could actually mean it's slightly gone off, couldn't it? Um, as it stands, if that's how it's supposed to taste, because, you know, I haven't licked a lot of sea urchin gonads in my lifetime, I would say that the jellyfish part's alright. Sea urchin gonad paste, not so good. 
really not so good. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of that on the fork and uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll put that down there for any passing maniac to eat. Good God. Yo, well, perhaps somebody can tell me actually in the comments whether it's supposed to taste sharp and citrusy or if it has actually gone off. Gonna need a bowl for the next one because it's generic white package that appears to contain cocaine till you look closely. This is shaved seaweed. Pour boiling water over it for excitement. I can't help feeling there is a slight hint of irony in that. Right, let's get this shaved seaweed. Get in the bowl there. I've got two of these, Willie. Oh, look at that. I've got to say, that's got to be the best shaved seaweed I've seen all day. Mm -mm. Well, at least we know it's old enough to shave. Oh, good God, hang on. <laughs> I've thrown in the uh, desiccant. That's not going to help, is it? Um, right. Pour some boiling water over it for excitement. Ready? Here's my new kettle, because the old one blew up in the same week that uh, my washing machine and the hoover blew up. That was very annoying. Right. Oh, look at that. Already excitement has happened. Not sure it's good excitement. Oh dear. It looks like something you'd grout tiles with. Um, but do you remember the quater mass experiment? Uh, Blimey, shall we? Uh, it's a little bit dry. Nothing worse than dry seaweed shavings. Let's have some more water on it. Gordon Ramsay, eat your corrugated forehead out. All right. I put too much on now. Look. Oh, now made me seaweed watery. Or have I? Oh no, that is actually going in. Yeah. Oh, I might need some more actually. Just when you think you've reached seaweed shaving saturation, it needs more, more. Or maybe it's supposed to look like that in the middle. I haven't got a frickin' clue. There we go. Whatever it is, I'm sure it won't be lethal. I hope. Oh, good God! I can barely move it with a spoon now. It's turned into some sort of. Hmm. Yeah. This is something you've found inside a corpse, isn't it, guys? I'm sure it is. Well, let's stop putting it off and actually try a little bit of uh, boiled she seaweed shavings, reactivated by the power of my kettle. Ready, steady, seaweed! Mm. Tastes of seaweed, oddly enough, but it's got a really slimy and snotty consistency. Which, again, is something we probably could have worked out using our eyes. Yeah, you're not selling me on that one. Maybe if it was a small part of something bigger, it'd be alright, which is probably how you're supposed to eat it. But a spoonful of that ain't gonna cure what ails you. In case, well, unless what ails you is not eating enough fucking snot. Right. Time for something a little more refined. How's about... Processed fish sausage! I like this, which makes it look like some sort of fantastic hamburger treat. It's 491 milligrams of something, and it's all confusing. Oh, and it comes in a, a sausage protector that you have to take off. Don't eat the covering. Well, there we go. Oh, actually, there's instructions on how to open. Right, that makes sense. Pull off this bit. Okay, it made sense. Come on, you can come. You can do it. Oh, that doesn't work pretty well. Oh, hang on. Nope, we've got it. Hey! Look at that! Processed fish sausage. Yeah, I'm thinking penis of a very ill creature of some type. I don't know. Right. I am going to eat this bit of it, because this looks the tastiest. And by tastiest, I mean the most horribly pallid, massively processed and unpleasant. Look at that. It's like something you'd throw away from the deli at Tesco. Mm. What's it like? Spicy. Um... Vaguely fishy. Mm. Very plasticky. That's very heavily processed. Yeah, that's not good at all, really. That that tastes sort of cheap and no real ingredienty, like it was grown in a lab by a very bad man. Yeah, you're not selling me on that one at all. Although oddly, it's not the sort of ingredients or idea of it. It's more the sort of processed plasticky part of it. But never mind. Such is life. You go over there, and we'll enjoy ourselves with today's final treat. This, which is apparently octopus and mushroom, Italian style. 
literally the translation has a Italian style in uh, inverted commas. So I imagine people in Italy are watching this now and thinking that don't look very Italian. Who knows? What I do know is it's a can that comes in a cardboard box. I'm a sucker for that. Oh, look at that. This needs a little bit of music as we go around. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we are. That sold me on this. I don't care what's inside. I'm going to eat it and I'm going to enjoy it. I take all that back. Bloody Nora. Hang on, I've got a spare bowl somewhere, I think. Bowl. Where you go, bowl? Ah, here be bowl. It's my Chinese soup bowl, which will be forever sullied by this, which is smelling more vinegary than... Mr. Vinegar the Vinegar Man. I don't know. I'm losing the power of metaphor by seeing what is in this. Well, the mushrooms look all right. Go on, last bit. Not entirely sold on the uh, octopus bit. Actually, it's mostly mushroom look. Mushroom is an olive or something. There's, there's almost no... I'm disappointed. There's almost no octopus in this, actually. Deary me, guys. You can't sell a tin of octopus stuff and say there's no octopus in it. Well, that's pretty octopusy. You can tell by the uh, suckers on it. <laughs> oh, deary me. Much as I like seafood, the smell and, to an extent, the look of this is putting me off. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Oh. Oh, oh! I was expecting that to be tougher than it is. It tastes very mushroomy. The sauce. Well, I suppose that's because there's shitloads of mushrooms in it. Um, oh, it's not as rubbery as squid. I've never eaten octopus before. Um, sort of generic, very generic seafoody taste. And it's gone. Actually, it wasn't that unpleasant at all, to be honest with you. I'm not very keen on this sort of weird mushroom sauce. That's what put me off. The actual octopus is all right. If you are an octopus eating man like myself, that's going to be on my CV now. This is perfectly acceptable. Ah, well, what a lovely meal we've had together, everybody. Let's put it all together into a piece of culinary joy, shall we? Mmm. What's not to like? Stop. Right, boy, boy.